Bitsat is almost 15 days away. A lot of people were asking me this one question. Why am I going to pick a slot? Pick karni and is it in such a way that some slots are much tougher than the other slots? And what should we actually give preference to? Should we be a part of the earlier slots? Should we be a part of the later slots? There's no one answer to this question. But there are multiple answers. So make sure to watch it till the very end to understand which slot you should take so that you guys can go and ace Bitsat in 2025. Let's just get started in the video. The first point is for the people who are going to write JE Advanced. As far as the people who are writing JE Advanced is concerned, it finishes on the 18th of May. And if you are someone who feels that I have to finish a bit of time and I don't want to wait for so long, then just take it on the initial date so that you are in the momentum, you're in the flow. And you want to finish up all your competitive exams so that you guys can go and sleep peacefully after your exams are over. If you are someone who thinks that, you know what, I wrote JE Advanced, but I feel like I need a little bit more preparation for BITSAT, so I need some extra time, then try to choose on the later dates of BITSAT examination so that you guys get some more preparation time for giving more mocks. So you get an understanding of how the previous papers were like. You get to know more about the exam that you're going to write on the last week of May. And a lot of people were asking me this question. If we take it on the last later dates of BITSAT, is there a chance that the papers are going to get tougher? Well, there are some people who did say that the later dates of BITSAT were kind of tough in the previous year, but there's no written rule saying the same thing. I mean, it varies from time to time, it varies from paper to paper, batch to batch, year to year. But on a surface level, if you see, you'll understand that most of the papers are almost at a similar level, similar fashion. So you don't have to worry too much about all of these things. So just focus on your preparation and getting your things right. And everything else will fall into place. So who are the people who should actually go and prefer the later dates of the exam? So generally, if you feel that you need some more time for preparation, if you feel that, you know what, J advanced is exhausting, I need some time to take a break and relax and go and write BITSAT, or I need to take some time to just go and prepare and do some more mock tests, these are the people who should go and write towards the end of the paper. And if you are someone who feels that I want to give it ASAP, I just want to give it and finish up and wrap up my things and finish it on the first few sessions. But by our last 15 days preparation, there's J Advanced also coming up and then there's Bitsat also coming up. Everything is just so clamped up together and my mind is tuned for J Advanced. So how do I reverse tune it for Bitsat? So the only way to do that is by solving mock tests, mock tests left, right and center. If you give a mock test every day for the next 15 days, trust me, your score will improve by 50 plus marks. But that's not true for all the mock tests. That depends on what kind of mocks you solve. You need to solve the relevant mock tests which have been set by Bitsat toppers who can help you out day in and day out by Bitsians who are studying in Bits planning right now. This is exactly why we have come up with Bitsat Busted. Bitsat Busted is a mock test series. You will find 15 mock tests over there and once you get the mock test, you'll be added to a WhatsApp community where you can talk to the mentors who have already gotten into Bits and who are in top branches in Bits. And after that, you get to chat with other mentors and you will get access to live sessions as well where you can discuss your doubts and solve problems with several other people. If you feel that this is going to help you out, then do check out bitsatbuster.com slash learn because that is going to be a game changer for you in this last few days. And coming back to the question, if I write on the later part of the date, what advantages do I get? The first advantage is that you get to see who else has written the previous dates. You will get a lot more info and a lot of data on who has written the previous exams and previous dates. You will get to know what questions have been asked, what is the level of questions, what is the type of questions, difficulty level of questions. So you'll be able to fine tune your preparation even in the last days to yourself. And you'll be able to understand what are the topics which have slightly more weightage than most papers, where is the lesser weightage given, and how do we fine tune ourselves for the second attempt of BITSAT as well. And this only happens when you are in the right community, when you talk to the right people. And that's also something that Bitsat Bus said does offer. So do check it out. Even after you write your first attempt, even from the first session, you'll get a good hang of the type of questions which are asked. You'll get a good hang of what are the kind of level of preparation that people have are having and 
what is the mindset that people are kind of having before they go and write the examination and that will eventually boost your scores as well because being in the right place at the right time is going to be a game changer that's it on my side guys let's just do a quick recap so if you're someone who's preparing very heavily for ga advance and you want to finish up with that as quickly as possible choose on the initial dates if you feel that you need some more time for preparation post your ga advance so that you can solve more mock tests choose it on the later dates if you feel that I need some information before I actually go and write BITSAT so that I can fine tune my preparation even the last dates, choose the later dates. If you feel that I'm already very confident, I'm well versed, I'm well prepared for the exam and I don't want to stress myself out too much, then choose the initial dates. And most importantly of all, solve mock tests in the next 15 days is going to be a huge boost for your score, irrespective of whoever you are. If you saw the BITSAT busted mocks, religiously for the next 15 days you will see at least a 50 mark boost and if you don't then go and get a refund from me i will give it to you personally i'll see you guys at the end of the video and in the community bye bye